Hey there folks, this is Dan Bowell Interesting, and today I, I want to go over a, a pretty simple flow I created just recently. And what this flow actually does is when you create a task in an enterprise project and project online, it will create a task under a, in a project in planner with the same name with the same name task as well. Okay, so it's basically a way to push tasks from project online enterprise projects to your planner projects. Uh, so we're looking at the flow right now. And uh, what you can see is basically the trigger event is when a new task is created and you just go ahead and put your URL in there. The second step in this process is a uh, action to actually list the groups that I belong to. So as these projects are created, uh, these a, a group will be created. So if you create a team or you create a project and planner, a uh, Office 365 group is gonna be created with the same name as the project. And so what I do in this case is I actually list the groups that I belong to. Okay, so after that, and we basically iterate through the groups that I belong to and we try to match the name of the group to the name of a project in Project Online. Because basically, so basically what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a Office 365 group that has the same name as a project in Microsoft Project Online. When that happens, what I do is I take that group and I use it in here in a planner action and it lists the plans for the group. So the reason I'm listing the plans is because there can be multiple, um, a couple of reasons. There can be multiple plans for a single group if you want to use an existing group, number one. And number two, I need to get the ID of the plan in order to add tasks to it, right? So I take that value and then I'm going to iterate through them. And so what I do is I go ahead and with the value that's returned from list plans from group, I try to match the title of those plans that are under that group to a project in Project Online, in the current project that's publishing because that's when this uh, this whole flow is gonna be triggered off. When that actually happens, when we find a plan in Planner that has the same name as the project in Project Online, it basically uses the create a task action here. And here are the uh, IDs it needs. It needs the group ID. And again, that was you know used earlier in this flow. It needs the plan ID, and that's part of the reason why we list the plans because we want to get the ID, and that's part of what comes back. Um, we take the task name from Project Online project, and we use it as the title of the task in this particular planner project. And then we're going to put the start date time and the due date time in here that come from Project Online. Basically, this is the start and finish date of the task within Project Online. And if I click on that, you can see. You know, there's basically the um, expression on how you go ahead and get that. And the uh, there'll be a blog post that provides more detail as to what these formulas look like. So if you need them, you'll be able to copy them. All right, so that's basically the entire flow. Really not a whole lot to it. Um, you know, certainly plan on maturing this, this flow over time. So the, the next step in this process, um, I wanna quickly show you, uh, I created a video earlier about another flow that I had created. And all this flow really does is, is when a project is published, a new project, it's going to ultimately create a, a team in Teams. And the significance of that is that process is actually going to create my Office 365 group. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a project within that particular group, okay? So the next step will be to go ahead and create and publish a new enterprise project. All right, so I'm now in Microsoft Project and what I have here is, is just basically a blank can chart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this project and we'll just give it a name as uh, A102 Demo Project. Not really concerned about any of my outline codes right now. Just wanna save this and publish this. And so now we'll navigate file, info, publish project progress and this is going to initiate that flow that creates a team with the name of this project and the name of that team is going to be a 102 dash demo space project and we'll go ahead and let this process and we'll go ahead and check if that team exists uh, so what I did is I'm actually in the flow for creating a team site upon publish within uh, flow.microsoft.com and I'm looking at the run history and I'm, I'm basically going to monitor when this flow actually runs and it should eventually have one that's gonna occur today. Okay, so if, if you look, uh, it looks like it as of just a few seconds ago, it's running. I'm gonna refresh again, see if that status changes to succeeded. And there you go, status is succeeded. Therefore, if I navigate to Teams, remember the name of that project and there it is at the bottom of my list, A102 dash demo dash project. And it just creates a basic team with your general channel 
and the, the tabs, posts, files, and wiki. So it's pretty standard uh, stuff going on here. Uh, so now what we want to do is we actually want to add a few tasks to that project and we'll confirm that the tasks are added to a project. But if before we do that, we need to actually add a planner project with the same name of this project. Okay, so what I'm going to do is click on my tab here. So I type in the word tasks. Uh, it shows up under my recent apps. I'll just go ahead and click on this. So we're adding tasks by planner and to do to this particular team. We're just going to add it to um, a channel with the same name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new plan. I'm going to give it a tab name. And so the tab and the project name are going to be the same thing here. We're going to call A102 demo project and I'm using the same case for it. Go ahead and click save. There's the new tab A102 dash demo project. I'm able to add new tasks here. I can create buckets here if I want to and so forth. Therefore we, we got hand and created the like named planner project in planner and now we should be able to have a match between that project and the one in, in Microsoft Project Online. So uh, let's go into our project. I'm going to create discovery, configuration, validation, training as my four tasks and I'm going to create some dependencies here so that we'll get some realistic dates shown up. So you can see the dates three, four, five, um, and eight here. And then we'll change the durations. We'll just plug in some durations here. And that's it for my project, file, info, publish. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to see that these tasks are gonna show up in that planner project I just created. And you can see the publish is occurring over here. Once the publish finishes, it should have triggered off that flow that I created and then we can monitor that for uh, actually running and completing successfully uh, then now we're back in that flow create planner tasks and project online I'm gonna click on the arrow here and you can see the uh, 28 day run history it already ran today because it ran earlier based on that uh, creation of the project right all right therefore we're gonna look for a new run as of March 3rd and we'll keep refreshing this until that occurs and then we'll check to make sure those tasks have been created. And there you go, you can see the flow actually ran on March 3rd. We actually have three occurrences because it's triggered on a create task. It ran three times because I created, or actually I think I created what is it, three or four tasks. So maybe I'm gonna see another one here eventually, but you, you get the picture, right? It's uh, triggered on create a task and there were several tasks created. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a way to, to group that so that it's not executed so many times, it, it executes once. Um, but, you know, again, this is a pretty straightforward and simple workflow. So now what we want to do is check to make sure that those tasks have actually shown up in Teams in our task by Planner and To-Do. Okay, back in Planner, you can see that those tasks were actually created. Uh, we had discovery, configuration, validation, and training, right? So they're all there. Now at this point in time, you could actually, um, you know, create some buckets that are meaningful. Do my stage zero one, right? And, and again, I'm going to keep this real simple here so you get the point. Stage zero two and stage zero three. And what you can do is, right, now that I know these are created, you know, that's gonna occur in stage one. Discovery and validation is gonna be in stage three and then training is gonna be in stage three there. So there's my project. Um, you know, again, just simple flow here going on. It created my discovery task, configuration validation tasks here. You can just grab them, click them and move them around as necessary. And then there, lastly, my training. You can also see that the dates, that's the due date that we had put in. If I click once on the task here, it'll bring up the entire dialog. I have my start, I have my due. So the discovery was 3-3 three, three to 3-9. Three, if I go back to my project, I should see discovery is 3-3 three, three and 3-9. Three, Therefore, it did bring over those dates uh, as I had expected them to. And so if we head over to Planner, uh, you notice I have some existing projects here. Uh, the one thing I want to note is that, you know, of course, this is going to show up as a project in Planner as well. If I click on that, again, the same project uh, you, that you would see within the task by Planner and to do in Teams. There's something I want to point out, though. If I click on this ellipses here to the right of the project name and then come down here and click on Members, this is going to open up Outlook and it's going to show me the group that was created as well as the project in the navigation. So let's check this out here. So current navigation, you can see that I currently have a 102-demo project selected. It's a public group, meaning others can join. 
I'm pointing this out because just mentioning previously that when you create a project by default, uh, the group will be created, a, a like named group will be created in Office 365 groups. And this is how we actually determine the, the projects that uh, belong to that group is by using, you know, the groups that I belong to, which is me by default initially because I created the project. And so that list groups will list this group. And then because this was created as a result of creating the A102 project, um, the project will, of course, show their uh, show up there as well. There you have it, folks. Hope that this has helped someone and you get some great information from it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to reach out. Be happy to hear from you. Thanks and have a great afternoon.